guys, welcome back. It's Shelby. Today I'm going to be making a necklace that hopefully kind of looks like streaks of lightning or something when I'm done. Hopefully it turns out really well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, then you know that I like making crafts out of somewhat random supplies, maybe. Um, so today what I'm going to be using is a vase. This is a very particular vase because the neck of the vase is roughly the same size as my neck. And I know that because I measured. Um, floral sticks will be the face of the necklace. Yeah, that's right. Um, the kind you put in flowers to, uh, you wind them around the stems to keep them up. Hot glue and some gold spray paint. I will explain the process um, while I'm doing it, but hopefully it turns out well and um, let's find out. I'll list everything you need down below in the description along with my socials. Let's go. So to start off with, I just took like a little baby chunk of the floral sticks and I'm winding them around the neck of the vase. It's not a perfect match for the circumference of my neck, but it's pretty close. They were wiggling around on me, so I added some hot glue to the back. That's more just to like tack them in place than anything else. And next what I'm going to do is um, just kind of shape the sticks how I want them. Individually, they're very moldable. So basically it's just about getting it to um, kind of look the way I want it to look, which was like a lightning look. I kind of want it to go both down my neck and front, but then also kind of like up my neck maybe on one side. You know how lightning has like jagged, unpredictable kind of patterns? That's what I'm going for rather than just like drooping, I don't know, gold stuff, which like could be cool, but like not, not the look we're going for. So basically just kind of shaping them however I want and knowing that I'll be able to adjust them later because they are very flexible sticks and they're just going to be covered with hot glue, which is pretty flexible anyway. So that's perfect. So basically I just molded them exactly how I wanted them and then took them off the vase and am covering them with hot glue. So I'm just kind of doing a thin line all across the thick part of the, um, the wire that's going across the back because I want that color covered and textured um, and then I'm just covering each individual stick with hot glue. I'm doing this for a couple reasons. First of all because they're sharp and if you don't do it they'll stab you. Um, and second of all because then it gets like that thicker kind of look that we're going for. I can create a little bit more texture with the glue. So um, yeah just kind of getting the base of the necklace with the wire and the hot glue. Alrighty, time to paint it because right now the wire and hot glue looks slightly less than impressive. Got my lovely gold paint that I use as always. And this is what's going to hopefully make it super glam. Alright, so that is coat number one. It's looking really cool. Um, obviously the sides that are touching the bag need to be painted still, so I'm going to wait for it to dry, flip it over, and finish painting it. Alright guys, so I am back. It is dry. This is how it turned out. It's kind of really cool. It's not going to lie. I'm really excited to put this on. I do need to put my hair up though, so I'm going to do that, put the necklace on, and come back and show you. Alright guys, this is it. I put my hair up so you can see it, and I also changed my top because I thought black might offset the gold better. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed with this. Like, this is the coolest thing. You know, it's like not necessarily an everyday piece. It's more like a unique, like artsy piece or even like, I mean, in gold, it's really cool, but you could do it in like red, you could do it in like black would be trippy. I don't know. I think it's really cool. It's actually really comfortable because it bends. Um, and then I just kind of like molded the little tines how I wanted them to look. Um, but I love this. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is. This is actually really cool. I'm really excited about this. So easy to make. Um, yeah, this is great. So I hope you liked the video. Um, as always, I'll link all my socials down in the description. I hope to see you back soon. Bye.